Now, I just pulled up to um, Florida Mall. Got to do the raffle for these 12s. It's dropping this Saturday. I'm going to shoot Palace. Um, I don't know what my luck is. But actually, I probably do hope <laughs> my faders. I probably ain't going to win. But I'm trying to be optimistic. Hopefully, I win. Scully on. Got the on feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the new boyfriend? Get back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. How? What's poppin' homies is your boyfriend Nitty back in the building. Yo, today is raffle day. Actually, I gotta go and fill out this raffle. It's no longer um, guaranteed pairs. So you gotta go through the raffle system. You know, the old antiquated stuff. Go and pull out, fill out your name, your phone number, and we'll give you a call. And you got praise to the sneaker guys that you get that call. But anyways, that's what I'm about to do. We gotta follow through. And these is for the Air Jordan 12 joints. that's coming out this Saturday. So, wish your boy luck. <laughs> Let's go inside the building. Pull this raffle out. Peace. All right, chat, on feet. I got these Air Max One joints. Swiper. Y'all know uh, De'Aaron De Fox. He custom, well, they're Nike. Not, I won't say, they're like a, they're not even a Nike ID, man, but this is his uh, Air Max signature shoe. Well, not signature, man. Nike just give him the, just bless the boy with the opportunity to design a shoe, and this is what he came up with. I'm not even mad at it, man. These are dope. Oh, shit, I forgot my damn mask. All right, we back in business. Got my mask on. We'll see what shoes they got in here, too, man. See if they got any Jordans and whatnot. Any retros. They got these joints in here. Like the GS4s. That's what I'm gonna call them because I don't see no, no grown man wearing these. And they got the fives. I've never seen these fives. Where are they? What are they called? I don't even know the name of these joints. But they'll like GS shoes as well. And that's pretty much it, man. Nothing crazy. There's nothing what in the world. These are Jordans? Okay. I see how they did. They give the little seven vibes on there with the back heel and the USA colorways. I see what they did. All right, we out of here. Now, I just pulled up to um, Florida Mall. Got to do the raffle for these 12s. It's dropping this Saturday. I'm going to shoot Palace. Um, I don't know what my luck is. But actually, I probably do hope <laughs> my faders. I probably ain't going to win. But I'm trying to be optimistic. Hopefully, I win. The retro I see in here are these joints. Jordan 1, black satins. Everything is pretty much Team Jordans, as you could tell. Pulling the wide angle for y'all. Nothing, nothing real spectacular, man. So that's the reason why I don't really vlog this spot. Um, I do like these, these Team Jordans right here. Um, I got the black and infrared. I think I still got them on my website. <laughs> I think I'm taking them down because I actually like this shoe and I actually like the colorway I got. And that shoe I purchased like five years ago. It's not gonna re-release no time soon. And then you also got these joints, which I had, which I sent back. They're cool, but I don't need a second 200 joint. Now they do have the 97's uh, Olympic pack right here in all colorways. I do own this joint, which I think I disclosed to y'all and show, made a video. I do like the other ones. If they come down cheaper, I'll probably get the yellow one next. But um, can't get mad at them. I like them. Uh, can't get mad at these either, man. All red things. Presses are very comfortable. You already know. What do they got for basketball? Um, I see the KD 13's, what they're going for. 90, that's not bad. $9 for a basketball shoe. You got the LeBrons on top. I actually like the all Le red LeBrons that just came out recently as well. I need them to come down a little cheaper though. But I've been hooping in these right here. You already know it's like my favorite basketball shoe right now, the KD12s. These are going for 90. Don't own a pair of PGs. I like to get something fancy like the Gatorades because I like those colorways. Um, this one's $50, man. Shoot, I, I'm hooping this for 50. That's real cheap. Um, LeBrons I'm talking about is like this, but it's all red. All right, let's get out of here. All right, before we go, man, I actually like these joints, man. Will y'all rock these? I mean, it's pink in them, but the pink is, uh, I won't say it's subtle, but it's doable, man. I think you can pull this off. I like these. So it's pickup day. Today's the Air Jordan 12 in the go pickup, and I'm only able to hit on one spot, and that's this spot right here. DTLR, baby. These joints was in here. When I would say these size 13, though. These are the shadow lows. I don't know if they, that's, that's true because y'all those side panels different, right? The midfoot side panel. It's a wrap. 
finally, yo, it kind of suck in there. <laughs> uh, it was chaos, man. But I do have my pair from DTLR to come through in the clutch. That's what's up, man. So um, I got a few errands to do, so I'm going to run those, and then we'll take it to the house and take a look at these shoes. I got the shoes. Oh, man. Put it right there real quick. How y'all doing today, man? Welcome back. We made it back to the crib. I was able to pick up my Air Jordan 12s uh, Indigos from DTLR, man. Now, let me tell you how this went. You know, I fill, I fill out two raffles, right? One at DTLR and also another one at Chew Palace. I can't even think of the name because they never called me. That's why. <laughs> but obviously didn't get a call and I did not get a call from DTLR. What they essentially did was text me saying, yo, pick up your pair, you won. Literally, that's that's what it was. So that's why I was able to pick up a pair from DTLR. So salute to them for always coming through in the clutch. Even though it wasn't a guaranteed pair, I still played the system and I won. So I'm grateful for that. I uh, just want to address another comment before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video. I know a lot of you guys are clowning me because on one of my videos, precisely at 8 minutes, in 11, 12 seconds, I said, and these are the Air Jordan Tail Wind. Air Jordan Tail Winds. Man, now that's not the first time I've done that. I've done that several times. Not all the times in the video. I hope not shown in the video, but I'm able to edit that stuff out because sometimes you get caught up in dealing with Air Jordan so much. The bulk of my shoes are Air Jordans. I just just say Air Jordans, man, just off the strength, man, just uh, um, muscle memory. I don't know. But yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I just want to address that real quick, man. I apologize. I, I, I'm sorry if you watch me for the first time and probably thinking, like, this cat don't know his shoes. But nevertheless, man, let's talk about these Air Jordans that came out today. Let's get right into it. As mentioned, DTLR on deck, size 12, my size. And these are the Air Jordan 12s in the globe. And I like the box. The presentation is funky off rip, right? Not only that is white. What is it? It's white with the, you know what I'm saying, little blue splatter paint with the white Jumpman logo. But it also gives this nice card as well. Hope that's showing up. Hope my light is not glaring too hard. And also says something behind the card. A little off this postcard. Let me get focus. Y'all can read that? Great, great. Um, hope you can. Uh, I'll just say this much. And it glows among the oldest dye to be used for textile dyeing and printing. The older known fabric dye in the glow dates back more than 6,000 years ago. Hmm. No two pieces are alike. That's all I'm going to read. Let's get into these shoes because I have not seen them or felt them. All right. And here they go, man. That's showing up. I hope that's showing up. Dang, these shoes are funky, bro. These are Air Jordan 12s. What y'all think about them? First glance, I like them. I, I really do. They look different from the normal 12s that I have in my collection. And fun fact. I'm not a fan of 12s. They hurt my feet. Now, I got my true size, size 12. I only got three 12s to my, or in my collection. That's the Flu Games, aka the Flu Poison Games. Um, I also got the uh, Master 12s. Yeah, I remember that shoe. That shoe was hysteria back in the days. People call it the Tax Season 12s. And fun fact, that's the first shoe I ever picked up on the sneaker app was those masters and lastly i got the most recent pair well not the most recent pair but i got the pair that came out well, this year if not early last late last year which is the black royal games i got those those are the only three i got and this is the fourth now i did one of those black universally gold joints i did one of those pairs but that escapes me i didn't get it nor did i cry nor did i care I was like if i get it i get it but because i want this colorway in the collection don't have this type of colorway, not in this model at least. Yeah, I don't even think I have this. This is the closest color to Obsidian, and I have a lot of shoes that's Obsidian. Well, I hope I still do, I, I can't remember. So pretty much the colorway on this is Stone Blue, Legend Blue. Now I do see white on here. Um, actually the rope laces are in blue. You can call that North Carolina Blue, you can call it Obsidian, call it Legend, it's blue. Um, also the word two going down the tongue, and also the number three at the bottom. That's in a different hue of blue. Uh, so pretty much the shoelaces and the midfoot is in two different hues of blue. And also even down to the, the lettering like I just mentioned. They call this indigo dye. So I guess that's what makes the shoe a little bit unique. It's really not hairy, but it's leather and it's very, very smooth. The texture of the of this um, midfoot is very smooth. I love the white as well. I'm not a fan of white sole shoes, but this would get it, man. I like this. And also 
the called the lacelets on on the upper part of the shoe that is in chrome i'm not a reviewer but i'm gonna try my best quality inspired quality quality inspired by the greatest player ever you already know who it is number 23 on the back as well let's check the outsole you got that legend blue and white on the outsole i think that's legend blue and that's pretty much everything you're gonna see on the shoe you got white and you got legend blue or great blue whatever color they want to use with a little bit of a chrome but that's plastic so it looks like chrome but feels like plastic which it is both shoes in hand no fundamental difference on either shoe they're both the same both on the medial and lateral side and give you a little 360 view these shoes did cost 190 and they came out today august the 22nd and i got my pair from dtlr man nothing much more i can say about the shoe i do like them i'm probably gonna hold on to them it's gonna be my fourth air jordan 12 in the collection i appreciate you guys to pull up and watch this video that's it man i hope you guys like the way i do it usually i do the raffle video first if i get the chance the opportunity but essentially jordan's been selling out when i go into these stores there's not jordan's on the shelves that i can record and show you guys because only thing there is team jordans yeah i don't want to see that i don't think air max is also very slim not much to show so that's why i was like yo let me just combine my raffle videos and my pickups together and then i'll win <laughs> the shoe so you're seeing this because i actually won got that text message not the call but text that's that was dope and also lastly before i get out of here man have y'all guys see 2j's documentary video of mayor selling his whole entire stinker collection well portion of it the one that was in his his his, his old house you know because i know he mentioned he got a new house with a whole different set of shoes but the ones we grew up watching man he's selling all of it for this reason one they don't fit him no more but he also want to create generation wealth i like the fact that he's turning his shoes into something greater and he mentioned he's gonna buy a new house and i always thought if there was anything i would get rid of my whole entire collection is to buy another crib front on people period for selling shoes i may not like how aggressive some of the resellers get because they're cutthroats if you're honorable in the community where you buy a few shoes and you want to sell it for a greater deed so be it man and i think what he's doing is a great deed you can frown upon it all you want but for him you know why he's doing it and i applaud that and i watched that whole entire two hours and a half two j's but i appreciate it man it was a good um good video it's not really a doc but it was educational, it was informative. I really appreciate it, man. Go and check that out if you haven't. And that's it, I'm done. Air Jordan 12 in hand, cops, I'm keeping, I like them. Next up for me will be those Air Jordan 1s that's coming out here shortly. And I think I, I won those Air Jordan 3s as well. I forgot what they call them, but. And also, I'm still in the hunt for the Air Jordan 1 uh, Tokyos. I have not copped those, they escaped me. I did not win the raffle, I did not win them on sneaker app. So your boy's still looking for a pair. I am. Hopefully to restock some sometime soon. Anyways, I don't want to hold you no longer. Thank you for pulling up. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel and you like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. Everyone else, leave your comments down below because I would like to read your comments and then eventually reply to them. All right. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. Gotta get out of here. Inspired by the greatest player ever. I think that's what that says. Probably not. Yeah, so you can enjoy the content. I get. I don't. Do I? I forget what I say after that. Hit the like.